<clears throat> Howdy readers, I'm Jason and this is chapter and verse. Uh, so this evening what I want to do is uh, create an original um, tag. And I'm going to call this the booktube top tens tag. Now I was inspired to do this uh, by a book that I've been discussing with uh, Robert over at Barter Hordes recently. And it's a book that I used to own but haven't owned for Oh, I would say almost 10 years now, um, but it's still in print. Uh, it's called the Top 10 Writers Pick Their Favorite Books. And it was edited uh, by a man named uh, Jay Petter Zane. Anyway, in the book, uh, he invited uh, 100 plus writers. I think it ended up being 125 writers who participated. He invited 100 plus writers to provide a ranked list of their top 10 books, right? Favorites, best however they wanted to define it, their top 10 books, a ranked list. And then uh, what he did was each position on the list, on each writer's list, uh, was weighted. Okay, so a book that was uh, ranked number one on a writer's list received 10 points. And a book that was ranked number 10 on a writer's list uh, received one point. So then he compiled all these lists and he tabulated all the results. And it was just fascinating. The individual lists were fascinating. Uh, the writers who participated were, I mean, seriously heavy hitters. And um, and then the compiled uh, kind of vote tallying was really interesting. It came up with a really interesting list. And so I thought that we could do the same thing um, using the same methodology uh, here on BookTube to kind of determine collectively what uh, the favorite books of BookTubers are. Um, <clears throat> so any BookTuber... Uh, who chooses to do this tag is to present a ranked list in their video uh, of their top 10 books. Okay, and again, just like with the, the original book, um, define top 10 however you want. Your favorites, the books that were most influential in your life, um, the books that you deemed the best, uh, the books that have made you who you are, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you define it according to your own wishes and whims. Um, but in your video, make a list of your ranked top 10. I will keep a chart uh, that includes all of the channels uh, that have participated over time and, uh, and that will have in it uh, all of the books selected as well as the uh, vote tallies. And then once every quarter, I will make a video kind of updating the community on where our collective BookTube top 10 stands and uh, what's on it, what's moved off it, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the idea. Okay, so here is what are eligible, okay? Individual works of fiction, okay? Be they standalone novels, like Alas Babylon by Pat Frank, or uh, short story collections, like Get in Trouble by Kelly Link, okay? Short story collections, individual standalone novels, eligible. Uh, individual plays, uh, eligible, right? So, Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare, eligible. Uh, individual works of nonfiction, for example, Great Plains by Ian Fraser. Individual books of poetry, for example, uh, The Captain Lands in Paradise by Sarah Manguso. Individual books of the Bible are eligible, okay? However, the Bible in its entirety is not, and this is because the Bible is not so much a book as a library of books, okay? And so um, you can choose, you know, the Gospel of John, or you can choose the book of Job, or you can choose any other book in the Bible, or even multiple books of the Bible to occupy multiple spots on your list, but you can't choose the Bible as a single book uh, on your list. Series of books are eligible. So if you want to choose the Harry Potter series, to occupy a spot on your list. That's fine. I have mixed feelings about that myself, but I've determined for the purposes of this tag, that's fine, right? So series, trilogies, what have you. And that's it. Uh, those are the parameters for it. Uh, so now I will roll into my own top 10. Um, so without uh, explanation or justification, uh, some of which I will provide in the box below the video and some of which I will uh, elaborate on in the comments uh, should people be interested uh, and should they ask. Um, without further ado, my top 10 is thus, starting with number one. My number one book is Bleak House by Charles Dickens. My number two book 
is The Tempest by William Shakespeare. This is the book on my list I have read the most. I have read this, I don't know, six or seven times. So, My number three is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. No secret how much I love this book. I've talked about it before. <clears throat> and my number four, right, my lone work of nonfiction on the list is uh, The Snow Leopard by Peter Matheson which has just come out in a new Folio Society edition, by the way, and looks beautiful. I really, really want it. Um, yeah, so maybe that'll be a Christmas present to myself later this year. All right, let's see here. My number five book, okay? Uh, and this is actually a trilogy of novels. My number five book is Kristen Laverne's Daughter by Sigrid Unset, um, specifically in the translation by Tina Nunnally, Okay. Um, there have been one or two other English translations. They're horrible. The Tina Nunnally translation is sublime. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, this is a big, chunky book, and it's fabulous. Okay, so that is my number five book. <clears throat> my number six book is Independent People by Haldor Laxness. And number seven is The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. My number eight is A Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery. Uh, it's been quite some time since I've read this, but uh, this lives large in my memory, we'll just say. And my number nine book is The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Right? It's the Penguin Threads edition. Isn't that beautiful? Right? Look inside and inside of the French flaps, it looks as though it's been embroidered, right? But um, that's just the style of it. It's just, not actually thread. And lastly, my number 10 book is Cormac McCarthy's uh, The Road. Uh, real quick funny story about this. When I was working at Barnes & Noble and Oprah had chosen this for uh, her book club, uh, this little old lady came up to my cash register with a copy <clears throat> and she said, uh, she said, is, is this book sad? And I said, um, I said, well, the cover is solid black and it's about the end of the world. It's, it's pretty sad. Anyway, those are my top 10. Tell me what are yours, right? Make a video of your own. Uh, to get the ball rolling, I hereby tag uh, Robert at Barter Hordes. Um, if for no other reason than he loves lists. He loves lists. I love lists. So I thought of him first. And, uh, and I'd also like to see um, Jennifer from Insert Literary Pun Here uh, do the tag as well. Now, I know uh, in the recent past, she did a video of her 10 favorite books. Could be that those 10 favorite books have not changed. Um, so her her tag video could be super quick. It could be like two minutes long where she just rattles them off, ding, ding, ding. Um, but anyway, I would love to see uh, those two people do the tag and anyone else. Um, I look forward to um, doing this uh, project and keeping track of all the results and sharing them with you uh, once every uh, what quarter, once every three months. I wasn't a math major. Have a good evening and I will see you again uh, soon.